Hello and welcome to this video presentation in which we'll describe the code structure feature in Apex SQL Complete. Code structure allows users to easily view and find all important code blocks and to review SQL code structure of a query. Code structure provides a tree-like form of the SQL code from the query and it's presented in its own window in the SSMS on the left side of the query window. The SQL Code Structure feature can be enabled from the Apex SQL Complete menu by clicking on the Code Structure command. When Code Structure is enabled, it opens its own window beside the Query window. To navigate to a particular code block in the query, scroll up or down in the Code Structure window, find that block, and click on it. As you can see, by clicking on the particular code block, in this case, Alter Procedure, it will find that part of the code in the query window, center it, and highlight the entire code block. The Code Structure feature also provides the ability to expand the code and navigate to the part which is under the main code. Apex SQL Complete's Code Structure feature is particularly helpful with large scripts. By using this feature, the user can easily navigate through the most important parts of the code instead of having to scroll down the entire query. If the script has more than 10,000 lines of code, by enabling the SQL Code Structure feature, the code can be browsed and only the significant parts can be isolated. For example, if you want to see the code for the specific trigger, in this case, create trigger employee, and when you navigate to it, it can also be expanded, and the other related code, which defines the trigger behavior, can be seen. When additions to the script are made, it will be automatically added to the code structure by default. If the following code is inserted into the script while code structure is enabled, this will automatically create procedure add imp5 to the code structure pane, and all related code can be expanded. Changing from automatic to manual refresh can be done by clicking the two icons in the top left corner of the code structure window. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.